to similar in weight. So you're a piece of some marginal height advantage. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is the finals. We will be crowning a brand new lightweight champion in the King of the Ring. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He hails from Greece, now residing in Wellington. He's a current two-time WMC lightweight North Island and TBA light welterweight champion. He now has 18 wins, eight losses with four big wins coming by way of KO. Introducing Alexi Fat Serapisos! And there's no doubt who the favorite is here tonight. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, hails from South Auckland, representing ETK. He now has 23 wins, 12 losses, three draws with two wins coming by way of KO. He's a WKBF lightweight champion. Introducing Joey, the Filipino kid, Bailon! It is now time for referee Clive Colley's instructions. Joey. Welcome to the final, gentlemen. A new king will be born. Okay, listen to and obey my instructions at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. All right? If you come together, work out of it, okay? Step back, have a good fight. It's not tight. Let's make some noise! A quick show of mutual respect before they start slinging leather and shins at one another. The winner of any eight-man contest must show the ultimate in endurance. They have to have two reserve tanks. They have to have a pain threshold, second to none. And the will to win. Balon starting once again in Southport. Sarah Pizos showing his right legs as quick as his left. Balon's unorthodoxy. Working well. He's starting off very fast. Sarah Pizos is a notorious slow starter. Balon, very sharp at this point. 30 seconds gone. No knees thrown in that clinch. Sarah Pisos was caught by that kick. Partially took it on the glove, but it rocked his head. He's having trouble with the southpaw stance right now. Just probably needs to straighten up his right hand a bit. Throw the right hand straight, and he can set off both his right kick and his left hook off it. Baylon just countering beautifully with his right hook now. He seems to have found his range. <laughs> Halfway through this first round, Baylon looking sharp. Sarah Pisos just wondering if he's had the edge taken off of his sharpness. It's by those battles he's fought to get here. Balon, beautiful counter right hook. Sir Pisos just drifting the wrong way slightly. He's moving to his right, but he should be moving to his left. Although that was a nice kick off the left rib. Need the fighter. Using a lot of left hand, lead hand rather. Uppercut landed from Bayline off the right hand. Kirapisos not faced, that cut hasn't opened up under his eye. 30 seconds to go. Bayline missing with the spinning back fist. Kirapisos with the teeth to the lead fight. Ten 
seconds to go. Well, a good round from Balon to start off things in the final. He has dominated. Sierra Pizos really struggled to come to terms with Balon's range in a southpaw start. Well, we saw at the start when they embraced with the cuddle before they let their lips fly at each other, but I think in occasions like this, it makes it awkward when you know each other too well. You know what their big moves are. You know when they telegraph. It becomes that much harder to pull the trigger. I think that kick there stunned him, Sierra Pizos, but once again, he's shown and he's got the fitness to carry on and recover quickly. Has his hands up. Joy evading his lead left hook then. Come back with counter of his own. But it's more of a, a technical match we've seen here in the first round, Mike. Yeah, Sarah Pisos has been able to apply pressure in all of his other bouts. Balon's just standing off. It's also the southpaw stance. Sierra Pesos has made a lot of work out of his left leg. He hasn't been able to throw it against the southpaw position because that makes you vulnerable to the straight left coming back. And Balon, well, he just seems to have found an extra tank. This is the second round and is crucial. It's the final of the King in the Ring lightweight. Joey Balon coming out of the red corner. And Alexei Sierra Pesos. And the green shorts coming out of the blue corner. Serapisos, the giant killer. Balon, the awkward southpaw fighter with a lot of power in his right hand. Uh, he won't get an eight count. It was a sweep and right hand while he was off balance. He needs to do more of that. Bring this home crowd into it. They've been a big fan of Serapisos throughout the night. At the moment, he hasn't given them much to cheer about. Well, that check hurt Balon. Balon's not throwing that left leg as much now. He hurt it. And a teak catching Balon on the high kick throw. Balon taking advantage of the limited Stop. grapple. A minute gone, the second round, still evenly poised. Okay, let's go. Yeah, of course he's not right, he's just been given a rattle down low. But he's just made a tough stuff, this Alexei Serapisos. Beautiful work from the knees from Serapisos. Balon though, answering back, and he's keeping on his bike. Works well against the fighter who walks forward like Sarah Pisos. Sarah Pisos finding home with those knees. Now he's starting to hurt Balon. That one hurt, the right knee hurt. Balon buckled badly. He's trying to move to his right, take advantage of the south wall stance. Spinning back fist came off the glove, another knee. He delivers those so well. His second dump of the round is Tony Corner. Tony Trainer Omni, he's happy with his work. So too is Wimbledon. So Sarah Pisos, after struggling in the first round, coming back and this the second. Big right hand, right knee. Beautiful work there from Sarah Pisos. He shut down the ring and he's forcing Balon to fight at his own range. Just 20 seconds to go and this is the second round. That is the final. And a huge step up, Teep. And trainers are going eclectic in the ring. Nice counter work from Sierra Pesos. Now Balon's starting to tire. It's in its own line. As we head into our third and final round, this is what finals kickboxing is all about. Oh, a very 
happy corner there, welcoming Sarah Pisos back to his soul. That should be the blueprint for this man in this third and final round. Exactly what he did in that second round. He came forward, he brought the crowd into it, he brought his superior fitness into the match that we've seen time and time again from this young man in the bout. This third round's gonna be a cracker, Mike. No doubt. Sarah Pisos, very calm. Jason Sutty, sage words. Nothing takes you down, okay? Nothing, there's no pain, okay? Yeah. Last round, Joey, last round. Come on, brother. It's a deep, brother. If you want it to end here, but then right kick me all went easy. I know, I know. Guys, I do it and up and up and forward. Pretty simple instructions in Sierra Pisos' corner. Right kick, right kick, right kick. And he knows, Mike, he Joey knows. Baylon. Well, he was simply told to suck it up and go out and win. A lot of love going on in Sierra Pisos' corner, I tell you that much. And it is a psych job having been done on Joey Baylon, Jason Suddy, the master of revving his fighters up. Sierra Pisos, three minutes, and he could be the new champion, so two for Joey Baylon. Referee Clyde County gets us underway. Nice work from Baylon, he wants to keep on the outside. Oh. Sarah Pisos just looking to shut him down, using that left hook to stop him from escaping. And another one, family jewels have been rattled. Sarah Pisos just needs to cut Baylon off, not allow him to get his foot on the outside. This is a vicious, vicious exchange of two very different styles. That was a teep to the body. Phelan slipping through the ropes. Two minutes gone. Now Sarah Pisos coming forward. Phelan's not moving quite as much. There's that right uppercut that's worked so well for him. Look for the knees again from Sarah Pisos. He's claiming that one went low again. Well, these boys are tough in all places. Sierra Pisa, oh, that's a big knee. Three big knees in a row. Buckled Baylon. Tough fight now. Baylon Sting has gone out of his shots. But he's still moving. A minute 13 to go. Stop! Sierra Pisos just needs to whip the hands a little bit more. There's a cut now over the left eye of Sierra Pisos. Blood flowing from everywhere. Baylon firing. Sarah Pisos smashing him to the body. Baylon going to the head. 41 seconds. Sarah Pisos coming on strong. It's all still on the line. And this is the final 30 seconds of King in the Ring 62. Clever win from Baylon. He actually gets a rest from throwing that kick as he comes off the ground. Nice work from Baylon with that right hand, right uppercut. What a fight. Big knees again from Sarah Pisos. 10 seconds, Mike. Stop, stop. Dumped again, Baylon. Is there enough time for another flurry from these two boys? Pisos' corner think they've won. The crowd is on their feet. Well, two but friends. Who knows? It was a close final round. I would have favoured Sarah Pisos, but a boxing favouring judge might have gone the way of Baylon. Let's go. Damage ready. was definitely inflicted more from Sarah Pisos.
But the points from Baylord with the hands, but there was possibly the story of the third and final. Vicious knees from Sarah Pisos. What about this love-hate relationship? Two good friends, two warriors, leave it all on the line out there. Both men should be commended for what they've thrown. The blood, the sweat, the tears, amazing stuff here for the final. Well, Sarah Pisos' crew is certainly confident. I think it's a little closer than that as we head to Final the tennis dance. Final ring, please. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for these two fighters? That was outstanding. <laughs> After three rounds of kickboxing action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision where we find a majority decision winner. Your winner and new lightweight king of the ring champion, fighting out of the blue corner, Alexi Fit The Sam Killer, the baby-faced assassin, Alexi Fit Sam Pisos.